Hey guys, welcome back again to another Tech Guru video. Today I'm starting a new series. It's going to be about HTML5 and learning HTML. If you do not know what HTML is, it is a coding language in which you can code websites. It is the most prevalent one. It is the one that is used most and HTML5 is the most current version of it. Uh, so you'll be using HTML5 alongside a scripting uh, code such as CSS uh, to code your websites. But for this tutorial and for this uh, set of tutorials we will be focusing on HTML5 and how to code in HTML5. So let's go ahead and get into the meat of things here. So with HTML5 you can code in any text editor. If you have a Windows you can go to text edit. Uh, if you have a Mac there's a text editor in there as well and it comes with every machine and you can do it for free with that program. I have Dreamweaver up. Uh, the only reason for that being uh, is that I can go ahead and show you the code over on this left side and then on the right side here it'll show you what will be in the browser and then I will preview it in the browser as well to show you that uh, also. So let's go ahead and get into this and let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. So when you start out an HTML document what you want to do first and foremost is you need to type in this right here that I have highlighted it says doc type HTML and then it has a less than and a greater than symbol on each side now let's go ahead and just start from the very 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 basic side of things in HTML you have to open a tag and you close a tag so what I mean by that is that when you're starting the head tag right here you'll see the head tag you will also have to close that head tag you see this right here this is closing that so that's saying everything in between this tag right here and this tag right here is going to be the head okay the heading of that web page okay so let's go ahead and, and, and go ahead and jump into it here so as you see here the first thing you will want to type is the doc type HTML you'll need to put an exclamation point there in front of doc type and then close it with the greater than symbol right there so what that is telling the the, the web browser is that this is a web page written in HTML that is all that is it's just letting the web pages the the, the, the you know the web know that this is an HTML document so that's all you're doing there but you need to have that at each beginning of any document you do within HTML so the next thing that you're going to see is going to be this head right here okay this is your heading okay and I'm about to explain what needs to go in that heading okay in the heading you will see a few different things you will see a thing that is called a meta okay and you have meta description meta keyword and you'll see a title all of this when you create a web page there are going to be two different viewers there are going to be human viewers and there's going to be spiders and there's going to be bots which come from Google and Yahoo and Bing and all the major search engines that will come and crawl your sites and that's what you want you want to have good SEO which is search engine optimization that way your site shows up in a higher ranking in Google and Bing thus giving you more track traffic so you're not gonna see in the people who come visit your site are not going to see this title here but what you want to do uh, in this title is you want to give it a nice relevant title to what your web page is going to be about so in this case it is an HTML5 tutorial so let's say I'm building a site about an HTML5 tutorial website I would put in here HTML5 tutorial okay and that would be my title and whenever Google whoever the bots would be would come crawl this site it would be HTML5 tutorial and they would say oh okay this is a site about tutorials on HTML5 so that's kinda where you're going on that now let's go into the next part of a document okay and the next part is going to be your body and before we even move on to that if you see here the heading is closed right here so I opened it right here this is open and then I closed it right here so everything in between those will be the head of this document okay next you will see the body now this is where things get interesting and you can start seeing things on your web page so let's go ahead and hit enter a couple times here anything that I type in the body okay anything I type so one of the things that most people do when they're learning to create websites is they type in hello world oh, I gotta spell it right hello world okay and then once you have that typed okay and you go right over here look over here where the design is you see right here hello world is written on that web page so if I went 
to preview this in Safari or preview it in another browser, that is exactly what I would see. I would see the text, hello world. You're not going to see any of this title stuff that I did up here or the meta keywords or description. All of that's going to be stuff that is used by the search engines, okay? So I've got hello world. Now you can do a couple of things with the text and I'm going to show you a few basic elements of what you can do with text within a body or with any text in HTML5. So let's say I want this to be a header on my page. So I want this text to be a little more prevalent on the site. So what I will do is I will go ahead and open okay and I will do H1 and then I will close that okay in between that H oh I did not close it correctly I'm gonna go ahead and close it just like that okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and type it again and I'm going to close it so I'm gonna put a backslash and then I'm gonna close it off now what that does if you'll notice it will make a header one what that means is this is the header to this web page okay so that is making this more prevalent on the page okay that's exactly what I'm doing here okay so that is what the if you see there what I did there good stuff I type that in if you'll notice how big it is that is showing me that I took that header tag and that is what that header is going to be right there okay and you can actually change that to be even smaller so if I want to go to h2 and then I want to close this off to h2 and go over here it will make that a lot smaller than it was before okay so that's kinda of what you can do with header tags so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that now so that is the basic premise of an HTML5 document. Now obviously there are a ton more stuff that you can do within HTML5. This is just the first tutorial that I'm going to do in a series of tutorials on HTML5. So if you have any questions guys you can put them in the comment box below. I'll be more than happy to help you out. Uh, I'll be more than happy to respond. Uh, give me a couple days and I'll write you back. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on my videos. It does help me out. And guys I will see you next time.